Hello guys and welcome to the fourth episode in Cities Skylines Project Below Sea Level. Still very much over sea level and we are sadly going to have we're gonna have to be that for some time because uh, we could start to unlock some tiles out here in the ocean but I feel like before we uh, want to be doing that I want to get some rail connections that we can get our city to grow. So we're gonna go up here uh, I also need to unlock this river so I can build a dam here to block it off uh, so that we can actually drain this area. Uh, so now my plan is uh, basically that, you know, the other tiles we're going to be unlocking are going to be that one, that one, that one, that one. And then we're going to maybe do these two or something else. I don't know, but we'll have to see. These two are not completely necessary. Uh, so we could maybe do some more inland stuff. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe you guys can tell me what you would feel like in the comments. Although, maybe not right now. It's not really time f to decide that kind of stuff yet. And people are struggling with trash. Now, is it a traffic problem or is it a coverage problem? Are you guys actually getting trash coverage? You are. It's shit screen, yo. But you're still complaining. Well, we could do a bit of it. No, you can't really do temporary trash piles because they... You have to then empty them. When do I get incinerators? Those are the ones I want. 7,000. So I think we'll just let people struggle a bit with trash until we can get the incinerators. And right now we're just going to wait for this area to grow. And hopefully that will give us the population we need. Probably build some schools though, actually. Yeah, this, this place does not have any schools. That's not very good. And also, there is not... Where is it? Good play there. It, well, it's not really that great. Yeah, I've already placed buildings in the good places. The really good ones, anyways. We're running out of those one ways going into this into the roundabout. And those are the ones we need to build them at. Let's build it right here. It's not very good, but well, actually, that is. Terrible. Uh, we could just do some. We could just do build two of them. Make sure we have absolute coverage. We should probably also build a high school over here. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we have one over here, right? Yes. So now people will get super educated, and hopefully they will move in and uh, do shit. Why are you complaining about not having workers, bitch? There are workers everywhere. Not enough educated. Well, get educated then, people. Oh shit, our industry is getting abandoned. Why? Why are you getting abandoned? Because you have no workers, isn't it? Well, damn it, why don't you have any workers? Shouldn't you do something about that? I don't know what this problem is. It might just be a, like I'm not sure. I like the thing is I don't know if it's a transportation problem or if it's a um, actually a lack of workers. Because, I mean, this road goes both ways, right? No, hold on, it doesn't. Well, that is a mistake times on... What? I... This is one way, isn't it? Is this the... Okay, 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 okay. Let's rethink this, then. Well, let's not rethink it, let's redo it. God damn it, okay. Um. So that was derpy. Do this. And of course that does not work. Why not? Game. Why do you do this to me? This should be possible. It frustrates me that it is not. There we go. Okay, so I was able to do it. So this is what I wanted. Now you should be able to get to work, right? And these industries won't have to just stop being th a thing. Hopefully. Another thing we will want to be working on is getting rail connection to our city. Maybe getting the rail like into here would be good. Like build a, um, a goods thing right here. I don't know if that's going to clog up traffic too much though. But uh, let's be uh, take some risks and build a rail station over here. And I, well, no, we can't actually do that because we don't have any, we don't have enough people. So so much for unlocking the rail. Wow, we'll just have to wait then. Oh, it's getting abandoned. Why? 
Uh, worker education is too low. Well, don't build buildings that require a lot of education. Jeez. I really do question the intelligence of these people sometimes. I can't seem to design this in a way that I like. I think part of the problem is that I really should have made this roundabout elevated instead of uh, underground. I think that would have been that would have made things easier because then I could have like roads going under it and just connecting everything and just making everything cool. But with this current setup, it doesn't really work out. But here we go. Uh, new unlocks of territory. Cool. Policies. Just bunch of bunch of different things. And we finally get incineration plans. Good. Let's get to work with incineration then. Uh, so there's one, one there, and one there. Start emptying these existing ones. Is the yeah? It is. There's stuff here. Why can I not empty it? Don't know why that button is grayed out. That is nope. There we go. It appeared. There we go. So empty that. Did I build any? I don't think I know. I did not build any other than that. So we will be wanting another one. Oh, should we just say fuck it and just build it in the middle of this place? Because we it, it it's all about the um the like the actual trucks, right? It's annoying that they have to go from here to over here. That's not very good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's just build one there for now so that people... Well, yeah, we need more incinerators, that's for sure. So let's piss people off a bit. Oh, we don't even have enough money. Really? How darn expensive are these things? 30,000. Wow. Well, we'll have to wait then. And oh, here's the thing. We can now have high-density high residential. Now, a problem is that I have yet to figure out how you actually... De like, how do you upgrade zones? Like, the only way I've figured out to do this so far has been to just delete the existing zones and replace them. And that's not really optimal. But I, I feel like this area is new enough so that we can just del delete... Really, just delete all the zoning here and just redo it. Because this stuff is unlocked. It's not going to go away. So let's do that. We can also begin making offices now, which is cool. So we'll make some of those things. Just because. And then everything else will be high high density residential. Oh actually, let's make some offices in here. There is some demand for industry right now, and I think the offices function as industry, so. If everyone will go out of town, that's fine. They will be replaced. My top of banking, yeah. Yeah, that's an industry building. But yeah, this should uh, just, I don't know, I, I don't like low density. I don't understand why they have to be here. And I should probably actually Google how to upgrade zoning rather than constantly deleting it whenever I want an, want an upgrade. Alright, it looks like we have to do some work on our ore industry. Because once again, it has depleted the ground underneath. And it now requires import to get stuff done, I think. So let's change that by taking this out of um, of that general zone. So those will all go away. Uh, but we will be expanding our industry, I think, though. So we'll go grab... I think I have so little money, but... I think we also want to get... Like, we want to upgrade our um, highway a bit. So, to, you know, connect it with this one, I think. And then build a super awesome bit of uh, industry right here. Because there's still ore to be found. And I want to get all the ore collected and processed. So let's begin by tearing down this. Because it's blocking stuff. Now let's see how we want to... What shape does, do we want this? I, I guess we can give it a bit of a bend. Like something like this. And we'll need another T intersection over here, so let's not overdo it actually. Let's do the intersection first. I'm sure there are more efficient ways of doing those intersections. But I don't know them and I trust in the game to actually be decent. Uh, okay. I trust in the game to actually be kind of good at this. From my experience anyways, using the pre-made things just work better. The game is just smarter. Too slope to steep. What? Slow, uh, slope to steep. Fuck. <laughs> well, I don't want to build it on... T uh -huh. yeah, I might have to push the entire thing a bit back further over here. 
Well, that seems to be as far as it goes. Turn this stuff. Get some of the stuff built. That is uncomfortably ugly though. I don't like these sharp edges. I should do something about that for once. Like, get some... Get some bend. Yay. That was kind of ugly actually, but whatever. So yeah, I think, yeah, temporarily we can just awkwardly connect this, but later on I'll probably be... Oh, false, I made it the wrong way. Later on we will be wanting to uh, change the position of this bridge, I think, because this is not acceptable. But now we can begin uh, getting the rail... Oh, the railway? The highway. Over here. So we'll... Um, yeah, it can, yeah, this mountain is not a, a hindrance. Not enough of one, anyways. Let's stretch it up here. Of course, this will soon not be shore anymore, so it, it, we don't have to, like, make it hug the shore in order to maximize use of, usage of space or anything, so... That is worth remembering. Uh, how, do we, how do we get this? would be pretty. I don't know really. The game puts the bend in the wrong direction it feels like. Alright, I figured it out. It was simply because I literally had no money so regardless of what I did it was gonna show it as impossible to do. Now we will uh, right the wrongs of the past and we will actually try and get this... Like, I, don't, I, don't like it. I don't like that it's so close. That works. And... Oof. There we go. And... This is not at all optimal, and it's kind of ugly, to be perfectly honest. But this is what we'll... No, this is not at all what we will deal with. I cannot accept this. That is horrible. It needs to stop. Damn it, game. Give me the bend I want. There we go. That's much better. Good. Look at the palm trees and the windmills in the background. Of course, no one's going to be using this road yet, but don't you worry. We'll build the industry to fix that. So let's make this, you know, industrial area. Just standard grids and one ways and bullshit. Alright. So you can indeed build on top of these hills without having to build, like, bridges and shite. It's nice that so this will be a bit of an industrial area, but it's not really prioritized right now. Right now I want to get this area built out so that we can get the ore that is within its ground. Uh, I guess we want to continue this thingy. Have this go out here. Not enough money! Damn it! why do I have no money in this city? That was not a problem previously. And I still have debt, don't I? A lot of it, probably. Maybe, is that... do I spend a lot of money, you know, serving debt? Where is my debt? Loans. 66,000. Yeah, no. Interest 10%. Yeah, weekly cost. Weekly. Oh, yeah. Mm. These, are, these are nasty loans. They do actually cost some money to keep up. So I will be wanting to get rid of those so that we can get more of a money flow. So let's actually just chill for some time. Or not, because now no one gets their trash collected anymore for some reason. I never did build the... yeah, there's a lot of these things over there, but we need to get some trash over here as well, I think. Maybe just build, like, a temporary dirt road. So, so temporary. And then, once we have the money, we'll build a trash burner here, and... And we'll just wait until we have some money so I can actually do something. Alright, see, now I'm confused. How... How, what? How did this house come into existence? What the hell? This house has no road connection. <laughs> Why is there a house here? Well, no wonder there's no garbage collection. There should not be a house here. God damn game, what, what are you doing? Like this? What is this? Okay. Hold on. Why does it... <laughs> Why does the game insist that this should be a zone instead of expanding this one? That is super weird. 
There's a lot of industrial demand, though. Uh, I don't know if we have enough money, really, yet, to really begin, uh, you know, building out industry here. And, well, what happened? For one second, all the water decided to stop working. I don't know why. It just sort of did. Regardless, though, let's begin uh, getting the industry going. Hopefully we have enough money to get some stuff done. I want it to be straight. Yeah, I'm noticing, realizing now that this is not, this is doomed to be unstraight. So, I guess we'll just accept our faith and get some bend here. Oh yeah, bend. And, I don't know, do we want to continue with our whole one-way thing? It seems to be working alright. Some one ways and some no, not, not, non, blah, 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 blah. Some not one ways. I don't know, are we struggling with electricity? No, we're not. It's just the game being weird. Why do you claim? Ah, because there is no... There we go. We've got to connect this stuff up. There we go. Now, stop complaining. Now let me build in peace. Alright. Let's actually get like a big road down here. Like that. Uh, this is a bit weird for some reason. I'm guessing it's the height differences causing problems. I'm not completely sure though. Maybe they ended up being an angle here. I don't know. Let's get ourselves some sweet ass roads though. And you gotta, yeah. Alright, I think we're ready to build now. Uh, okay, so for some reason this coverage is just not enough. Don't know exactly how that works, but we should probably build another station. Oh shit, we don't have enough money? Well, of course we don't. Um, yeah, we also need to move this one. Uh, it's, there's no purpose in having this derpy little road when we can just build it over here. So, yeah, I guess we'll just sit back and wait for money, as we have done so much in this Let's Play. I guess we can do something while we wait for money. Uh, we can try and fix this situation, because there's a lot of traffic right here, a lot of people coming in. I'm guessing they're importing goods to industry that can't really make it themselves. But I think we need to re rethink this situation a bit. But I think one thing we could try and do is uh, just replace, like right, having a um, stoplight or whatever you want to call it, like a, what is it called, intersection? with uh, traffic lights right there is just not smart. So if we just went like that instead, so then people can still go where they want, but they don't have to wait for traffic lights. I think that should improve things a bit. There's also a lot of traffic over here, but it seems to be, it, it seems like it's flowing rather nicely, even though it's a bit, you know, derpy. Yeah, I think we did solve this situation over here. Well, it's not solved, but it's a lot better now. I mean, that just proves it. Intersections are evil. And also this area is starting to get some traffic. It doesn't look like it. I don't know if that's a symbol of it actually doing kind of well or what that is, but there you go. Not enough educated workers. Well, <laughs> now there's no office, so stop complaining, alright? God. These people sometimes. Alright, now we have some money. Let's try and do this shit again. Let's get some... Uh, wait, what is this? No, we don't need doctors. We need firefighters. Right there. Well, let's actually just zone all this stuff. Uh, kind of stupid to wait this long, actually. Like that. Well, this is going to be, you know, industry and the rest of the area is going to be very close. And here's another thing I've been thinking about. This road is kind of poorly designed. It shouldn't go into this intersection, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it feels not just good. It would be better if it went like that instead. Maybe it's more housing. Right? You can probably deal with some industry in these areas as well. Maybe not down there. This is not necessary. Not yet, but it is potential... Potential areas we can expand into in the future. And let's also make sure we actually get the area in here. Oh shit, oh, wrong. Oh no. High heels, get away. This is ore land. Respect it. Uh, is there still any... No, we're running out of ore over here, so this area probably also can just be 
removed from the general area here. So I gotta love the way Orland just keeps migrating to where the ore is. Which makes sense, I guess, but it's just kind of funny. So now some new profitable industry hopefully will pop up and we can get some sweet, sweet money. And we can afford moving this now as well, so let's do that. Let's put it just sort of on this road. There we go, and that means we can just get rid of this. And then everything is awesome. Hey, small city. Hey, we can now do hydro power plant. So I should end the episode here, but we're going to go a bit longer because I just want to show off what I intend to do later on. And this is it. Uh, we're going to be basically doing like this. That is not what we're going to do. Derp. This. Of course, we, yeah, you can see how much it costs. It costs like a hundred. Like just this one little, this, this small dam here costs like 250,000, right? So just imagine how harsh it's going to be once we start building like this kind of a dam because the regions will not allow us to build, fuck off, Katie, will not allow us to build that one, sadly. Uh, same goes for here. No, actually, I think we can build them over here. So, but yeah, uh, we're we're moving closer, moving closer. We just need, we just need more people. We need to expand. So we'll probably rezone a bunch of this shit and get these buildings over here into high density. Because uh, I mean, we're gonna have to do that at some point. Although maybe we should ex expand, build some. Now well, there's pollution over here. That was poorly planned. I don't know if there's a way we can get rid of that. I don't know if I want to risk building a, um, a residential area over here. Also, I don't know how I would build it in order to make traffic flow, but... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, regardless, though, we're going to end this episode here. I'm going to move on. So, yeah, see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, bye.